What's up guys, it's Steve over at Disney. I'm here today with my mom and we are gonna be talking desserts today. Two very specific desserts. We have Gideon's and Everglaze and we are gonna dive into both of those right here, right now. So buckle up because it's time for us to start talking Disney. Let's go. So, all right, desserts, always my favorite meal of the day. Because they're not a vegetable. They're not a vegetable. It's actually the opposite of a vegetable. <laughs> so, <laughs> where did I go wrong? I don't know. Who knows? But where we went right is we went to two yes. amazing dessert places two last new time. Places. We were, yeah, two new places we had never really been to before. Well, they just opened too during during the pandemic. Yeah. Right. So. so but we had to go check them out. Yep. So let's start with Everglades. Everglades, yes. In um, over near um, Splitsville. Yes. And donut shop, but not your average Dunkin' Donuts donut shop. Yes, yeah, donut shop. This ain't your dad's donut shop here, no. people. Well, you know, back in the day when I was younger, there were donut shops all over the place. There was no, you know, Dunkin' Donuts. It was all independence. And this is kind of like that, where they have these specialty donuts. And this place has specialty donuts. Oh, maybe it is your dad's donut shop. <laughs> it could be, right? They have your classic glazed, iced, like vanilla iced, strawberry, iced, strawberry iced with sprinkles. Um, but then they get into like Fruity Pebble. Where they yeah, they, pebbles they, they on go the top. wild with some of them, right? And they have their funky donuts that um cookies and cream pb and um peanut butter peanut butter explosion cinnamon toast crunch maple double bacon maple double bacon donuts yeah, on a donut just sounds like, fantastic it sounds fantastic it sounds like i don't know what about 20 pounds that's what that sounds like um and the mounds coconut cream donut which we've sampled yes that and that's a coconut um almond iced donut Toasted coconut, chopped mounds bars, cream cheese frosting, and vanilla icing drizzled on the top. That's probably, I don't know, <laughs> a calorie count for three days. Yeah, right? it was crazy. And it's, I mean, and they, they are, they're, they're not like, little. Yeah, they're probably like, right. they're hefty. Yeah, I have a piece of hair. Do you see it? It's sending me over the edge today. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So, um, yeah, so they have all these crazy donuts that and they they like put the stuff on themselves like yeah you can watch them make them like you watch them make them and then you can get they have sandwiches they have like burgers and egg and cheese a chicken sandwich a grilled cheese that they serve on sweet bread or on a grilled glazed donut what it's absurd it's absurd but you know what but really like yes <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to say what I'm thinking? Would you really do that? No. So a grill, a glazed <laughs> donut sandwich on a burger. But Wait, how much of a fat are you if you're having a glazed donut grilled with a burger on it? Yeah, I mean, it, but people do it, and it, it <sighs> must. And everything I've heard about it is, it's delicious. I understand that. Listen, I love to eat, but come on. I know. It's it's hard to justify. Like, I'll have the burger on a donut, please. Come But if they on, offer it, some, some people are really adventurous with their food. So they really want to... That's not adventurous. How many cheeseburgers uh, have you had? Escargot. Adventurous. I don't know. I've, I've had escargot. I've never had a cheeseburger on a donut. I you bet... had escargot. Is that true? It is true. <laughs> so, like... Oh, wait. Is that snails? Yes. Oh, no. I haven't had that. I don't eat snails. My bad. What was I thinking of? I don't know. I've what's, had what's about squid? Calamari? That's it. So, but I've had that. I haven't had a donut with a cheeseburger on it. True. I bet less people have had a donut with a cheeseburger than have had calamari. Maybe. Yeah. So, so uh, donut prices, $4 a donut. Four fifty a donut. No, $4 a donut for the um, classic donuts for your Again, big dollars. Yeah, 
But I mean, I think you can get a whole dozen of donuts for, for just over that at Dunkin' Donuts. Five fifty a donut for the specialty ones. And they also have coffee. They have um, cold brews and spiked coffees that you can get with rum and Irish cream and amaretto. Coffee was just all right. Yeah, it was fine. It was it wasn't just great. You know, it the wasn't donut great. was surprisingly good, though, considering I the hate donut coconut. Was good. Yes. And I liked the donut. Donut was delicious. Would I make a special trip there for it? Mm, no. Probably not. But it was good. Something to try if you like. Oh, you know, something new I want to try. Do it. They're yeah, good. I would say yeah. Uh, if you if you happen to be passing by it. Don't they have that milk it, there too? That uh, cookie milk. Yeah, milk? something like that. But if you're passing by cereal it... Cereal milk? No, cereal milk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know what you're talking about. But if you are passing by Everglades and you're kind of just like, you get that, like, I'm, like I want something sweet. And they're big enough to split. Yeah. And so that can kind of make it cost effective in yeah. terms of, like, a little, snack. Like, little, yeah. little notch. Well, it's not like... Yeah. A little like a moose boosh. Um, yeah. But, no, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. However, I would go out of my way... For the next place on our list, and you actually have to go out of your way to get to it. Right now you do. So you have to. Gideon's. Gideon's. Gideon's is um, the second store for Gideon's. The first one opened in 2016 in Orlando, and within weeks, every place around was naming it the best cookie in, you know, in Orlando, in Florida, in the country, in the world. Boston Globe actually had named it the best cookie ever within weeks of it opening its original yeah. store and there's a reason they did that because holy camoly it's the craziest thing I, and i want to dive more into the cookie but i gotta just say right off the bat before you even get your cookie yeah it's a process like it's a huge process but like with the wait list in Disney Springs, in order to get to Gideon's, you have to get there early enough in the day that they can put you on the wait list to get in line. So, I think they start the, the wait list between 9 and 10 o'clock. Yeah. So, you have to get there to get in line to get on the wait list. So, by 9.30, you're in line yeah. waiting for them to open at 10 o'clock to put your name on a wait list. Right. It's crazy. Because that's how popular these cookies are. But again, it's with good reason. The Boston Globe... <laughs> yeah. The Boston Globe named it... Among... Several like lists and lists and lists and lists. Yeah, delish.com, Orlando Centennial, you name it. But look at the reach it has. It's like we're in Boston, yeah. they're in Florida, yeah. and they're still like best cookie ever. Yeah. Um, but then the theming of this place, second to none. Yeah, it's the it's, coolest it's, place. Um, yeah, so it's near Raglan Road. Yeah. You have to get there early. Put your name on the list. We got there. Um, you went early before we went to a park right. and put your name on the list. We went later that evening, around 5, 30, 6 o'clock, I think. We were able to put our name on a list, but they said um, they didn't think they were going to be able to call us. They really weren't sure. If they did, it was going to be closer to 10 o'clock at night when they close. Yeah. When I got put on the list, I went before I went to the parks, and... They told they said come back around six o'clock, and it'll be ready. Or it was like a, actually it was like a three and a half hour wait, I believe. Like three and a half hour wait for a cookie. For a cookie. And they don't. You can't go in and buy does. You can buy six cookies. That's it. Yeah. They limit you. You can only buy six because it's so popular that. Right. So it has a fun backstory. I don't know if you know like the the um, owner. The story is he found um, an antique cookie book, cookbook, and um, in the margins there were changes made, hand, like handwritten changes for recipes and stuff like that. In the back of the book it said this book belongs to Gideon, so he named it Gideon's Bake Shop. I mean, love it, love it. Has I mean, a it really like has that. a backstory, and um, all the shelves in the store. The store is incredible. It's so cool. So cool. And we have pictures and stuff. Yeah. All the shelves are lined with strange works of art, and the works of art was supposedly from this book that he found. So Gideon, these are all Gideon's drawings. So when you go in, you see like people, not uh, but monsters, like, but like, but with the like big, bigger, like, like the big black eyes and stuff. Yeah. It, it honestly is like you walked into a Tim Burton movie. Yes. That's exactly like, how the, I felt. The like shelves behind, like are all tilted. Yeah, all that like macabre, kind of like dark. The yeah. smoke coming out of the, 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 the like the fog yeah. and the, 
the creepy people on the walls. Yeah. Very Nightmare Before Christmas, but without yes. the like childlike sense of wonder. Very dark. Dark. And just awesome. That, like, gargoyles, like it's gargoyles. Yeah. yeah. It's very intriguing. Yeah, it's very, very, very like gothic. Yes. Um, yeah. So. And I loved it. I, lo I was yeah. there for all of that. Yeah. <laughs> so. But even their website is really fun. Like the way they describe their um, their team and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's just, a you'd love it. You should go look at it. Yeah. You should go look at it because it's a lot of fun. Just their website. Um, if you're in the Orlando area, you can order pre-order your cookies. And you can get more than six cookies if you order the day before. And these cookies aren't cheap. They're... But, um, cookies are six dollars. They have cake that we're going to talk about, nine dollars a slice, and the coffee is five dollars that we're going to talk about. We're definitely talking about that coffee, yeah. but let's talk cookies. Cookies. So, um, we have some flavors. Yes. They have um, the original chocolate chip, cookies and cream, peanut butter crunch, triple chocolate chip, and pistachio toffee chip. And a coffee cake that sells out. <laughs> a coffee cake cookie always sells out. Always sells out. Yeah. Um, the cookies and cream is like a milkshake in the cookie form. It really is. And these aren't... The cookies aren't... They're, they're not small. They're not normal. They're... Well, they're double stuff Oreo cookies is what they are. Yes. They're oh, yeah, not, the ones on, not, yeah, yeah, the crumbled ones are not, like, they're not standard Oreos. They're a double stuff Oreos. Yes. When Gideon's hands you a cookie, this is no joke cookie, people. This is real heft. Like, we had that box. I had that I'm like, this does not feel no. like I'm carrying a I cookie. Think it's like a half pound each Yeah, cookie. like something like that. Like, half pound. Like, these things get stale and you could use them as a hockey puck because yeah. they're so big. Yeah. But the cookie itself is a, they use, um... For the base of their cookies, uh, uh, several different types of vanilla. They use really good butter and stuff like that. They use different kinds of chocolate chips within the cookie. So the chocolate chip cookie is, um, like again, variety of chocolates infused with different vanillas. And it's almost like eating cookie dough, they say. So So it, I, I have to agree with that because so, okay. I got the chocolate chip cookie and... First off, this thing is covered in chocolate chips. Sure. Like, there's hardly any cookie. I don't yeah, know how you can't you... see the cookie. Yeah. Really. It's like chocolate chips, and it's really, it's a messy thing. So I would recommend maybe fork and knife for it if you don't want to get messy. But if you're free to get messy, go for it. Um, I had to break it apart. You can't just hold these cookies. They're right. just so massive. And you can't eat them all in one sip. Uh, yeah, no. That's not going to happen. But every flavor came out so strongly in that cookie it was so good. Every bite was like a different, like just overwhelming with flavor. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I loved the cookie. I love Gideon. So I'm yeah, it was good. And then the pistachio toffee chocolate chip cookie is um, chocolate chips, toffee, and lightly sa salted pistachios. And they say on their website that this is the cookie you should try first. I don't know why, but. Wowie. I was like, pistachios in a cookie? I don't really right. like nuts in my cookie book. Wowie. Yeah. It was fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, it's... And it's crazy. It's like, I mean, it just was... Yeah, it's pistachio in a cookie. It's an, yeah. odd, it's an odd flavor. It was just... Everything from Gideon's was amazing, amazing, yes. amazing. Yes. They have cake slices. Like I said, the cake slices are $9, but it's more like a slab of cake. Yeah, it's like a quarter of a cake. Like, if you yes. think of like a normal, like, cake... It's like they took a quarter of it and were like, here you go, boom. And like, yeah. it's this massive hunk of cake. Yep. And they have um, true red velvet cake, chocolate everything cake. They have key lime cake. They have different kinds of cakes. You can order from the one in Orlando. You can order a whole cake and it's like $60 for the whole cake. Wow. But they have different, different um, varieties you can order. Yeah. And then there's the coffee. Okay, so <laughs> the coffee... <laughs> I can't even begin to describe. It's called, yeah, it's called the original peanut butter cold brew. It's house made coffee blend with real peanuts from Georgia. It was the best coffee the, I've ever had. <laughs> it was the best coffee I've ever had in my entire yes. life. Yes. I couldn't believe it. Shame on you, Dunkin' Donuts. The yeah. The place in Florida is doing better than Way you. Way better. Like, it. it 
ended the discussion of Dunkin' Donuts versus Absolutely. Starbucks because everything else is just playing for second place yes. at this point. It was the most ridiculously good coffee I've ever had to the point that I would rather have the coffee than the cookies the cookie. at Gideon's. Yes. It was, it, I, I don't even know. It must have been those fresh peanuts that they grind up when they're grinding their, their coffee beans. I was really concerned. I'm like, peanut butter and a coffee? That's yeah. going to sound and odd. And it doesn't taste... It's not... It's definitely not a fake flavoring. It's definitely real peanuts. Um, it's not an overpowering coffee. It's it was not just, an all, it doesn't. It's not overpowering peanut butter. No, it was just. It's just perfect. Yeah, it was literally the perfect cup, cup of, of coffee. coffee. Cold brew. Yeah. Mm. Just. I would. Yeah. I I'd drink one in the morning, and then we had it at night, and yeah. we weren't even like Ugh, drinking coffee. It, it bordered on a dessert. It was so good. And yet it, it tasted like coffee. But it wasn't sweet. Yeah. I, 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 I can't even describe it properly mm -hmm. because I just, you kind of have to just go drink it. Yeah. Honestly, like if you're going to, if you go into Disney, yeah. go to Disney Springs, go get a Gideon's coffee and you'll thank us later. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like come back to this video, leave comments down below and be like, I tried that coffee. This is what I think. You'll love it. You'll love the cookies. Um, Gideon's, hopefully it slows down, maybe, you know. Yeah, it's going to take some time, I think, with everything kind of real, like people kind of going back. But yeah. it could, it, it, if well, it slows... Once they call you back, you're still waiting in line, by the way. Yeah, like, it's probably 20 down minutes. Down by Morimoto's. Yeah, it's probably a 20 minute wait yeah. once they say you can get in you line. Get in line. It's, uh, but you know what? I, I'm going to say it, it was worth the... Castle. The eight hour wait. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's kind of like when you stand in line at Flights of Passage and the time starts ticking by and you're like, oh my god. And then you get on the ride and you're like, that was so worth it. So worth it. Right. That's Gideon's. Gideon's is to desserts what Flight of Passage is to rides. Yeah. So. Yeah. Everglazed, again. Everglazed kind of. I, I almost feel bad good. for Everglazed because we did yeah. this video with, with Gideon's. Like, I don't. <laughs> I mean, we... Because I wanted to review it, but there isn't much to say about it. Yeah, I mean, it was... If you like donuts, if you have a child that likes donuts, okay. Yeah, it... it... And we, I mean, there's a line there, too. Don't get me wrong. I mean... And it was a line. Good. Yeah, it was, yeah. That was probably... You probably waited 40 minutes for that cookie, right? I mean, me, me and Dad walked all over the place. For walked, the donut? Yeah, for that donut. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't know if it was that long. Like, I don't know. We watched them, we watched them make donuts and yeah. stuff like that. It's a small little place and with social distancing, they can, they only allow so many people in at a time. And maybe that's what's going on with Gideon's too. Why it might take so long? Because they do, one comes out, one goes in, one comes out, one, and that's kind of what they do. Yeah. Um. I do like that they kind of come and get you though at Gideon's. Like, they're like, come on in. Like, it's like that dark, like, they're all in dark uniforms and the big doors open and they come and yeah, get you. Like, doors. It's I, almost like Haunted Mansion. Yeah, it really is like if the Haunted Mansion decided to have a... Have a kitchen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it really, that's exactly how I would describe it. So, we're in agreement on this one. Gideon's... Absolutely. Gideon's Absolutely. far, far and away. Like, it's an it's almost a must stop. Like And it, it really yeah, is. Yeah, like, it and, is. and I made it. I'm, like, I knew when I was down there, like, I have to go, I have yeah. to go, I have to go. And I kept going day after day and being told... Nope, sorry, nope, yeah. sorry, nope, sorry. And then I was like, I'm yeah. going first right. thing in the morning. Was it the Magic Kingdom day? I yeah. Think? And I'm like, you know, I call them, like, where are you? It's like, Gideon. Gideon. I'm like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm getting this cookie. Like, I was, I needed it. I jumped in on this line. You did, you did. You and you I got jumped in on that I line. did, I did. I'm glad I did. Yeah, because. I had had the Gideon's cookie before at um, the Polite Pig. Yeah. Oh yeah, they order. They, they. I think yeah, they order the cookies from Gideon's, right? Yes, before they were in Disney Springs, and um, I was like, eh, I don't know. They're much better than I remember. Yeah, it was. I might have been full of brisket. <laughs> that might have been it. Yeah, maybe it was yeah. too full because. Because yeah, we. This is not a oh I just ate dinner now I want a dessert. Right. Yeah, that's a that's a bad move. Right. That's. That's a strong... These cookies are shareable cookies. That, like, I'd say it, definitely more than two people. Yeah, two more than... Three people do could enjoy... Do you remember what I did with the rest of our cookies, though? Yeah, I do. 
So, all right, so we're just going to dive into this for two seconds. So I hate to fly. And the next day after we got giddy as we were flying out, and I had put half my cookie away as comfort food for me to sit on the flight and eat my cookie and just kind of like vibe. And uh, you threw them away. I threw them away. I'm like, oh, we're not going to bring these with us. Bloop. <sighs> Wish I didn't do that. Yeah, me too. That was a rough flight too. I could have used that cookie. <laughs> so... Yes, cookies, $6, cakes, $9, coffee, $5. Yeah, I mean, I, even this video, I mean, we've gone longer than I even expected because I just, there's not, a, we had to get it all out for yeah. Gideon's. It was... It's that good. It's that good. So... Prepare prepare to stand, stand in line, put your name in, get there early, go back to the hotel, Go back to downtown. Yeah, it Go will be worth it though. It will be worth going to. Yeah. So, like we say, please like, subscribe, share, leave comments down below. Let us know what your favorite desserts are on Disney property. Let us know if you enjoy Gideon's or if you are a bigger effort glazed fan. Let us know why. Maybe we had the wrong donut. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your audience. Have a great day, week, month, and we will see you again real soon. Stay safe.